Hi all, I have another very interesting game from the TSEC Season 15 Super Final. Let's have a look at round 35. So Stockfish playing white, e4. We have uh, Lila playing the Sicilian defense. The opening book given is in the Sicilian Neidorf variation. So the legacy of the great Neidorf, not the form pawn, Miguel Neidorf, Neidorf as depicted there. That's a picture from Wiki, which I think I can use. So his great legacy, this move a6, a fantastic opening. It's uh, considered still the top variation of the Sicilian defense. Uh, so uh, let's see, bishop e3, e5, knight b3, bishop e6. We have f3, bishop e7, queen d2, black castles, white castles, queen side, Queen c7, g4, rook c8. This is the end of the book given. Uh, so here, g5 is played, so gaining a tempo, and the knight actually goes to h5. You might think this is a little bit odd. It does kind of try and dissuade f4. However, after king b1, knight d7, stockfish plays f4 anyway, not just giving up the dark square bishop, but giving black, it seems, a strong e5 square. Uh, queen d8, so hits g5, Leela hits g5, but there's also another point behind this. This rook can potentially play an exchange sack. Uh, in this position before, there has been a game with knight e5, a game of Grishuk. Uh, Grishuk was playing white, and that was quite violent against Sigurev in Moscow 20, 2009, and that went like this where uh, you know this knight d5 got uh, some light square weaknesses in black's camp basically because black hasn't got that uh, such control over the light squares now and in fact uh, Grishuk as you can see was crashing through on the king side with spectacularly with this idea so hitting h7 now and uh, we have knight g6 and queen takes yeah this was threatening mate and c8 so that's a nice tactic uh, so quite crushing and coming back here and in this position playing another neat tactic can you guess with the rook hit white played five seconds Grishuk, Grishuk to play and win against the 26-12 Zagorov played rook g1 yes because if bishop takes then there's rook g8 checkmate so that was an interesting game of Grishuk uh, where this 26 you know 12 GM played knight e5 so Leela's choice is a bit of an innovation queen d8 uh, we have h4 uh, there's uh, another interesting try in this position with uh, b5 well, not so interesting. That that ended in disaster. It's not so so high level a game. Wang against uh, Wu. Well, B five was tried, ended, ending in win for White. But let's go with the game now. Queen D eight. Uh, so H four. And now, in fact, Lila did play this exchange sack. Very interesting. Uh, this positional kind of exchange sack. Uh, we have Bishop H three, Bishop C four. If black takes off here it seems as though it should be comfortable for white this position white should be pretty comfortable and advantage for white so bishop c4 bishop f1 yeah stockfish is wanting that bishop off but now queen d2 bishop e2 here rook hg1 g6 h5 bishop f8 so black does seem pretty solid on the king side and also with this bishop you know potentially fin chattering it looks as though you know maybe this c3 is going to be a target but in fact stockfish extinguishes the whole fin by installing the form pawn yes the form pawn uh yeah you can see this form pawn t-shirt behind me see the description so there's a nice form pawn t-shirt i've got my form pawn mug here as well so a great range of accessories are available for the form pawn anyway so form pawn installed stops bishop g7 uh, we have now b5 
knight d4, rook e8, rook g3, bishop e7, rook f1, bishop f8. Yeah, some high level shuffling here. Uh, okay, it carries on like this. Bit of bit of high level shuffling. Now knight f5, critical moment, knight f5. What happens if this is taken? That's an interesting question. Uh, black played rook c8. If this is taken, it is big trouble. E takes and then g6. And this is horrible for black. For uh, This is just... Um, that's losing the queen and if that's the best move that's not very good uh, but if a5 as an example g takes bishop h5 and black's getting mated uh, or if h takes g f takes and check here if that's ignored with with the king move then yeah again black's getting mated so that's totally uh, diabolical this position uh, if if taking yeah, after g6, it's it's not good at all. So it was ignored, rook c8, and the knight actually went back. And then we get some more high-level shuffling. And it seemed as though there's almost like a strategy, I don't know if this is a, a conscious strategy of Stockfish, but not to do that much for the moment. It is peculiar how leaders moving the king to the center, though. That is also a peculiar aspect of this high-level shuffling. Uh, the knight seems to be a nice guardian of black's position in any case. Now here, the king's kind of pinned down. Any king d8 or king f8 runs into knight e6 now, so that is a little bit strange. You know, king f8, just to put that on the board, knight e6 check, and we're actually winning the queen. Uh, so, okay, so queen f2 pins the king down for a moment. Queen c7, king b1. And then we get some more seemingly meaningless shuffling. But there comes a moment soon where something exciting will happen. Honest. Something exciting is about to happen. Stockfish seems to be biding its time. And Lena's getting... You know, drained on time here. Perhaps looking at all the uh, the potential threats in the position. Uh, so this rook's come to b3 here, and now we see the move a3. So this doesn't look particularly aggressive, but now the king goes to a2, and now rook b4, and now another interesting moment. Instead of the rook moving here, we see king b2. So another curious moment to question. Uh, so the bishop actually went back to d8. If bishop takes b4, it seems as though white will have a nice dark square play like this, where e5 is now the best piece taken out of black's position. And it leaves white with uh, a great position. Uh, white's getting a, a nice attack here going. Uh, it is it is looking a bit dangerous on the a5, but yeah, apparently, technically, white's doing very well. If we look at this line again, uh, just for a moment, instead, instead of knight takes f3, knight c4 check, uh, this is much clearer for white as, as being really good. For example, winning uh, like this is um, this, well, not, yeah, this is a massive advantage for white. So uh, it wasn't accepted, this attempt at a counter exchange sacrifice wasn't accepted. Uh, we have king b1. Queen uh, Bishop e7, Queen e3, and again some shuffling. Again, and it looks as though, hang on, is there anything really going on in this game? But it seems as though a4 now, a4 happened. Yes, a4. This is at move 96. And I believe Lila was short of time. So this is an interesting uh, structural change here. Um, and I believe the queen would be in trouble after queen a3. It's not It's not worth doing uh, to play queen a3. Uh, rook a2 in any case. Uh, so we have rook a7 being played. On b takes a4, then that just loses the rook. 
on b4 there's actually queen d5 here and if queen takes bishop c4 hits f7 and this position is pretty unpleasant for black so a4 we have rook a7 knight d4 knight e5 knight b3 hitting the queen queen goes to c7 queen d4 now a takes and white's actually using the a file so this is becoming quite active for white's rooks now quite dangerous for Leela. Uh, so the king goes to c1 here the rook infiltrates and some more playing around yep until this b4 c4 so another structural change and knight d3 now so you might think well hang on what about c4 here b3 is played by Leela on knight takes c4 bishop g4 apparently is pretty good so for example like this and white's doing very well the exchange up and b4's dropping or bishop takes c4 if that was played then knight takes and knight takes f7 is a key tactical shot here so for example king takes this check here believe it or not because there's queen g7 to take on a7 if that's taken and here check is winning that rook so yeah it gets a bit nasty if um something takes on c4 so b3 is played now this takes out black's best piece there which has been like the guardian of the position b takes check takes d takes queen c3 now rook a5 so it looks as though at some point e5 is going to be uh in danger but it's not here we see rook g1 if queen takes e5 here then that leads to the rooks being skewered like that with an even position and if rook takes e5 that actually might be okay for white uh for example this but maybe there's better stockfish didn't go in for that anyway taking on e5 uh we have rook g1 instead rook b7 rook b5 so it's starting to be clear that white's just the exchange up black's compensation is uh, evaporating a bit now and this rook left to a4 uh, starts to get control of the position actually uh, so yeah it looks as though yeah there was check there coming back for the bishop uh, so there's been a bit of a nuisance but now that bishop was pinned there it starts to look nasty you know so possibilities quite nasty possibilities emerging here bishop c4 hitting the queen uh queen moves but rook h8 so and now yeah this form pawn uh is only two steps away from queening so taking on h7 is pretty destructive for black's position uh some threats here that to deal with so check bishop d4 queen c1 and now taking on h7 yes it looks as though leader's in big trouble here the king coming to a4 very well calculated by stockfish queen d3 and after queen a8 check both engines thought it was um, lost for black it was resigned here so yeah uh, a, a possible continuation say after king b3 king e7 queen f1 e4 uh, rook takes f7 this is a an example continuation where uh, the bishop ends up uh, being won so uh, stockfish showed its teeth in this game it really did the shark yeah showed its teeth with that move a4 uh, when a4 was played uh, it wasn't very safe for the black position the a file was then used uh, so once white's rook was activated uh, then we saw the episode of you know winning h7 later it was all over uh, black didn't have enough so a great win there from stockfish if you enjoyed this game video then uh, please click on the top left box which should appear shortly become a member at chessbold.net play against other youtubers you can also test yourself uh, on the variations covered in this and other game videos from the improved menu puzzle books option which has a link to the undertake game as well Comments, questions, donations, see the description. Like, share, subscribe with the notification bell. Really appreciate it. Thanks very much.
some puzzle revision so this is on the improved menu at chessmold.net puzzle books you'll find uh, this puzzle book Sicilian night or stockfish Leela so uh, let's have a look here Bishop takes h3 I think we're taking here and then I've totally forgotten is it rook h2 nope rook g1 okay uh, now h5 is it pushing through with g6 nope uh, maybe just queen e3 here okay now yeah this this was kind of crushing uh, so I think uh, g takes bishop h5 queen h4 queen d4 chat mate uh, here uh, F takes, and then we've got uh, ignore the knight because we want to checkmate the black king, basically. And here, white to play for a clear advantage. If the king went back there in this position, knight e6 wins that queen. Uh, here, white to play for a clear advantage. Here, ah. Uh, Mm, I've forgotten really. Knight b3. Let's do a hint. C takes. All right, and then, okay. Here, white to play for a clear advantage. Just taking the rook there. That would be a weakness for the last move and a half. And here, uh, on b4, is it taking? Nope. Oh, queen d5. Yeah, queen d5 was the interesting one there and the idea to hit f7 now yeah bishop c4 in fact bishop e6 there's queen takes c6 hitting the rook and it's check so that's why I think bishop e6 is ruled out uh, so this would be pretty dangerous and something happens here uh, not sure what hint king b1 okay white is just better there this one white's play for a clear advantage here I think is it rook b5 no hint oh white can actually get an advantage here but it's a bit tricky so queen a8 and then what yeah I've come I've forgotten king d2 it's a bit technical it's a bit technical so king e1 and then there's something here. Is it rook a5? No, that, that surely runs into queen c1. Rook The rook just moves here. Okay. And rook d1. Okay, some of them are a bit technical and obscure, but yeah, they are variations we covered uh, in the video. Okay, if you want to check that out. There's also, by the way, uh, let me plug this really popular puzzle book which has been added Mikhail tells sacrifices and nice finishes so you'll find that here 343 puzzles there for, throughout his career okay thanks so much